Hello everyone. So today's video is going to be on writing your own spells. And um, I wanted to do this because for a lot of people, especially people that are starting out, um, sometimes it can be overwhelming like for them to think like, how do I write my own spells? And like when you look online, there's a lot of um, different information. Sometimes they make it way too complicated and it doesn't have to be complicated it can be really easy and the reason why I wanted to do this is because there are a plethora of spells online that you can use um, they post it online so you can use them so there's no you know it's not like you have to write your own spells um, because there's plenty online that you can use for me and this is just my own personal um, thought that it only applies to my life um, but I like writing my own spells because I feel more connected to it and I feel like I can really pour my energy into it because it's my own creation. And as you write the spell, um, it's you're pouring your energy in. You're really focusing on that. So <clears throat> when you are using someone else's spell, it really sometimes just comes down to just reciting what you're, you know, just reading what you see on the paper. Or reading what you see on the site and I feel like and again I'm just gonna apply this to myself because I don't want to speak for everyone but I feel like this sometimes there, there is a disconnect um, between the energy and the focus that you need to have to manifest something in your life um, if you're just reading words off of a paper um, but if you write your own spell as you're creating this spell you really are um, pouring your energy into it, your intent and your focus is there in the creation process. So, and also you get to use, you know, your own words um, as well. So you can, you know, create words that resonate with you. And you could do the same thing with spells that you that you do online. You can, uh, you know, um, tweak them and make them work for you as well, um, which is a, a wonderful idea. But um, this spell, I'm going to create a spell um on this video and it's going to be a money spell but i just want to go through the process with you and this can the process i'm going to describe to you can be used in any kind of spell that you want so the first question you need to ask yourself is what is the purpose of your spell what do you want to bring in or get rid of <clears throat> so once you have the answer to that question then you can move forward. For for my spell that I'm going to do in this video, it's going to be bringing in money. The um, next question you should ask yourself is what kind of materials, ingredients do I want to use? Um, so, and that can be, the, everything has properties, herbs, crystals, all kinds of stuff. There's color magic, all kinds of stuff. Um, you can literally go by what your gut says let's say if I I'm using sesame seed for this um, for there's there's a couple of different ingredients but sesame seed is one of them and sesame seed has um, money drawing properties <clears throat> let's say if you know I have sesame seed but I don't feel right using it and I want to use another herb even though it doesn't have money drawing properties I could still use that herb because my intent is there my focus my energy I'm manifesting it's all about about really focusing using money drawing herbs and and crystals and and you know ingredients materials whatever um, just really helps to helps the process along but it's not absolutely necessary feel do what feels right for you um, so think about what you want to use in this um, you can make it as easy or as complicated as you want if you, you want to have 30 ingredients have 30 there's no right or wrong way to perform a spell the next thing that you want to think about once you've thought about your materials is timing um, if you're trying to bring something in the waxing moon is or well, the waxing moon face is the perfect time that is the time between the new moon and the full moon as the moon is getting larger. So when the moon gets larger, it's a perfect time to bring things in. If you want to get rid of anything in your life, a banishing spell, um, a release ritual, anything like that, the waning moon is the perfect time because that's the time between the full moon and the new moon. As the moon gets smaller, same thing applies to your life. You're taking away. So um, 
for this, I'm just going to uh, do this. I know it's it's a, a waning moon right now, um, <clears throat> but I'm still going to do a money spell because I want to um, show you it's uh, how easy it is really to write your own spell. Um, the next question that you um, want to ask yourself is, do you want to cast a circle or no circle? Some people like to cast a circle before they do their magical workings. Um, some people don't. And that's really, truly a personal choice. Um, it's not like a ritual. So where, you know, in a ritual, you would, you know, call in your, your elements, your directions, your, um, your deities, you cast your circle, all of that. With spell work, you don't necessarily have to. Um, I do. It's my own personal choice. I've already casted a circle around uh, my property. So, and I, I include the whole house when I cast my circle. And I think this is another thing too, to, uh, to remember that if you cast your circle, try not to make the circle so small, like just including you, because if you have like kids in your house, depending on, it doesn't even matter if they're small or if they're teenagers, because if they come in your room while, while you're working, you want to make sure that your circle is large enough to include them as well. That way, if they come into your room, they're not breaking your circle. Um, the next question would be deities or no deities. Well, first, let me back up a little bit. If you're going to be casting your circle, then you want to, you know, structure the spell um, for calling in elements and directions, which can be really, really easy. Um, this is something also that goes with personal choice. It could be as lengthy and complicated or as short and sweet as you want it to be. It could be something as easy as, you know, just saying, uh, direction of east, element of air. I welcome you to my circle this evening. Hail and welcome. So it could be something as simple as that, or it could be really, you know, you know, uh, element of air, direction of east. I call you to my circle this evening. You know, uh, I the I'm trying to think. My brain just just died a little bit. <laughs> uh, the cool breeze and in, in in the summer morning and the the um the refreshing breeze on a summer afternoon, like you can really like, you know, uh, fill that with, with words and, and, and make it, you know, something special to you if you want to, but it doesn't have to be like that could just literally be short and sweet. Um, deities, same thing. Um, if you're going to call in deities, some people use deities, some people do not, especially in the craft. A, a lot of people don't, uh, use deities they just they just practice magic and that's it and that's that's beautiful to each their own um also the next thing is do is there going to be any incantations is there going to be any spoken parts so if the answer is yes it's good to really sit down along with figuring out um what materials you want in your spell ingredients whatever you want to call them you know also working out something that you want to say in your spell to give it, you know, the power or to really allow you to focus. Excuse me. I wrote down my spell prior. So this is what I did. I, I gathered all my ingredients and it's just a little, just a little speaking piece that I have here. So I am going to perform a, a small spell for money and my ingredients are a small mason jar I have, I have three, three quarters, I have three nickels and three dimes. So I'm going to be using that. I also have some rice. I have some, some thyme. I have patchouli and I have sesame seed. All of these, including the rice, have money drawing properties. So. I am going to start my spell. As I said, I've already called, I've already cast the circle, but for spells, I don't call in elements and I don't um, call in deities unless the work that I'm doing like would have me work with a deity. So <clears throat> this is just going to be a quick little spell. I'm just going to get all of the tops off of my ingredients that way it's ready you can do a meditation you don't have to say anything really if you don't want to um, you can literally just do a meditation 
and you know you can say it inside your mind especially if you live with other people sometimes it can be hard to have that space for you to um be able to say things out loud especially if you live with family or you know whatever the case may be somebody who doesn't understand this path you know um so uh if you don't want to say anything out loud, you don't have to. You can just say it in your mind or you don't have to say anything at all. It could just, you know, be just pouring the energy um, into whatever you're doing and not having to say anything. Now, I do want to say that I have charged all my herbs. Charging is the process of um, giving them power, <clears throat> giving them a job. So that's what I've done. And, and how I charge my, my herbs is I sit here, like I have my rice right here and I sit here and I, I meditate and I put my hands over the rice and I direct that energy into whatever I'm using. So I'm not using crystals, I'm just using the herbs and the rice and the jar. So um, I am going to start. So here we go. Herbs are added to this jar to draw in money from near and far. Now I add the silver coins the energy the raised energy poured in joins money money come to me money money three times three money money so would it be I'm going to give it a little shake and mix everything together so you can see all of my ingredients are inside this jar. I have my coins, I have my herbs, and I have my rice, and I'm going to leave this um, where I can see it often, and every time I see it, I'm going to focus and actually see the money coming to me. And I'm going to pour my folk, uh, pour my intention. Well, not pour my intention. I'm going to give this spell power every time I see it, see the jar. Um, that way, it manifests in my life. So I do hope that you found this useful, and um, I hope that you guys have a wonderful day, and blessed be.